Welcome to another edition of Friday at 420. My name is Mike Neighbors, the ambassador of Funny here on Funny A20, and it is my pleasure, indeed my honor, to host this little comedy show we call Friday at 420. Over the next 40 minutes, we've got some local comics. <clears throat> Excuse me. I choked on the... I don't know if it was the local or the comics part. And the one, anyway, either way, uh, we've got some local folks who are going to uh, try and make you laugh this afternoon, and I hope you will enjoy our best attempt at that. Uh, let's introduce the panel before we get into our game. First, of, co- of course, way over on my right, it's my good buddy, Patrick Hopolino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Patrick. Buongiorno. Uh, how are you, my friend? Because last yeah. last, <laughs> last time I asked Patrick how he was, and he was caught off guard because he goes, "You never ask me how I am. You always ask Manolis." <laughs> so now, from now on, how are you, Patrick? I'm very good. Oh, Thank that's you. fantastic. Uh, that's great. All right. Uh, speaking of Manolis, there he is in his brasser sweatshirt. That's gonna f- throw me off, man. I love this sweatshirt. Uh, I know. I understand. And if you know what Brazzers is, then you would probably uh, like it as well. And if you don't know what it is, don't look it up on the internet. Whatever you do, do not look it up. How are you, brother? Good, good. Tikanis. Tikanis. Take a knee, my friend. Take a knee. All right. Uh, And way over on the left, it is our special guest this week. And uh, his name is Steven Gerodat. How's it going, Mike? Is that how you say that? That's how you say it. Girodat or Girodat? Gir- Girodat. Yeah. Steven Girodat. Uh, I'm doing great, man. Thank you so much for coming in, doing this with us today. You bet. Uh, just shared a little uh, a little moment. Had no idea, but uh, I asked how long you've been doing stand-up comedy, and you made your debut. I was actually emceeing yep. when you made your stand-up comedy debut. Yeah, when Yucks used to be up on the mountain. Yeah, beside Hooters. yeah. Beside Hooters. That's what everyone... <laughs> yeah. Remember the Yucks beside Hooters? That's, uh, that's why I was really there. Speaking of... Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Hooters, we're back to Manolis' Brazzer shirt. Uh, uh, so how's it been going since then? Since you st- started on an amateur night and you've sort of worked your way into to getting some paid gigs? and Yeah, I, uh, I moved out west for a while. I was doing stand-up out west, uh, kind of oh. traveled through Alberta and then to B.C. for a while. Nice. That, and then I, I just moved back to Hamilton uh, two years ago. Is it all you've dreamed of, Steer- Stephen? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Uh, You uh, may or may not know how the game is played, but in case someone is listening for the first time, shame on you, first of all, for not tuning in before. Uh, But if you are listening for the first time, it's a little game of random topics. I've got in front of me uh, 12 envelopes, 12 random topics. The comics do not know the topics ahead of time. Behind them is the Plinko board. Uh, They will Plinko to see which topic they get stuck with. Steven Girodat, you get to go first, my friend. Drop that Plinko puck. And we'll uh, give you your first topic on Friday at 420. You can hear the Plinko board in the background there. What'd you get there? Number three. Number three. All right, Stephen. Here we go. Let's hopefully we'll start with an easy one for you, brother. Uh, oh, yeah, this, is, this is really easy. What sign are you? I'm a Pisces. You're a Pisces. Do you know anything about Pisces? And are you really, a, do you feel connected to what they say about Pisces? They're fish. That's all I know. <laughs> They're fish. <laughs> Do you feel connected to fish in any way, Stephen? No. No, not at all. No. Uh, oh, do you know any of the attributes of a Pisces? What they're, uh, you know? No. No, really, you don't. No. You've never investigated I, that? I pretend to know on Tinder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he pretends to know a lot on yeah. Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Just instant Google. Instant <laughs> Whatever Google. Whatever they're into, you just Google yeah, it yeah, immediately. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. You want a Capricorn? I can be a Capricorn. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, what, what about you? I think we may have asked this question before, but what, what sign are you, Manolis? Actually, I'm a Cancer. You're a Cancer? I'm on the cusp of Leo, I think. So my birthday is July 21st. So it's oh, July twenty second. Right. Yes, that has a name. I think he's on the cusp. It like, makes it mean, it's called dude. It makes me a dude. <laughs> he's like a can Leo or a Leo sir. It uh, apparently cancers are very um, sensitive. Yes, and they're apparently uh, amazing lovers. But, <laughs> Which is what he's found on Tinder. But <laughs> That's what he wrote I'm, on Tinder. I'm, I'm here to prove that it's not true. <laughs> a cancer on the cusp of Leo. Yes. Because the Leo part is the, right? It's the, uh, you got. Well, well, I, I don't know a lot about Leo. I know. I, I, cancer traits are. Um, here we go. Uh, intuitive, sentimental, sympathetic, sensitive. And That's quite a, complicated personality. You, you might as well put all words Manolis can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're also all things that Manolis is. That He's is. like all of that stuff, right? It is. You are. It's like a sensitive, se- intuitive yeah, sense, person. Yeah. That, I'm like complicated. A, so. I'm, I'm like a I'm like a cat, like a pet <laughs> like little a, kitten. 
that wants to play with boobs. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but you said you're a Leo as well? Yeah, I'm so, on Leo. the cusp of Leo, but uh, he doesn't have a lot of Leo in him. That's like arrogant, uh, uh, strong leaders, bold. fiery, bold. Yeah, no, I don't see that. A little bit of that on stage, no? A little bit. I don't know. Bold. I think I'm becoming a more of a jerk. Maybe more. more we, that's not. No, Leo's, I'm a Leo. Oh, I you said you said like some. What, some, what did you say? What was? I said bold. Bold. Uh, yeah. Bold. I think bold is like oh, like being like. I don't know. Okay. okay. Well, I said arrogant, which is a, arrogance, a, a, a kind of a negative, right? I mean, they kind of think they know what they're doing. And, oh, okay. Yeah. That Wait, kind you're of a thing. Leo. So, yeah, I'm a Leo. Yeah. When's so, your birthday? It's uh, July 28th, a week oh, after yours, my no friend. No way. You have the same birthday as my brother. Which means nothing to anybody. I don't know why I even <laughs> said that. <laughs> Patrick Capolino, what sign are you? Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Do you know anything about uh, Scorpio? Steve, look it up. Yeah, Steve, come on. <laughs> Steven's got the little uh, Google machine going crazy here. A manipulative. Ma- <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. And uh, that's not a good trait. <laughs> well, no, if it you, depends. Well, if you manipulate for good instead of evil, that's <laughs> that's all right. That's uh, what I always thought about manipulation. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Scorpios are strong-willed, passionate, intelligent. Jealous, possessive, and yeah. secretive, <laughs> yeah. and they know things. how to effortless, effortlessly grab the limelight as they possess what it takes to achieve their goals. Wow! Hashtag levity. <laughs> Do you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Comedy club. <laughs> Do, would you agree with most of those? I would agree with all those things. <laughs> all those things. <laughs> I'm taking them all, and I'm going home. Uh, since we're we're on the, you might as well Google yourself there. Uh, look up a Pisces there, right. so we can just find out if Stephen Girodat <laughs> f- is actually a Pisces or whether he was just lying because he thinks we're like Tinder. Pretty. Pretty. <laughs> That's all it says. <laughs> what does it say about Pisces? Um. Pisces. Uh, give me a second. All right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, this is all in real time. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just kill some time. Pisces. Uh, empathy, intuitive, artistic, selfless, generous, and emotional. Well, no. You're none of that. Are, are you? Am sure. I not? No, sure. Uh, you're Artist- emotional. Yeah, I'm definitely and, emotional. And he's, he's creative. He's artistic. Yeah. Well, you stand up comedy. Empathy. I have empathy. I don't don't exercise it much, but where, I have some. Where did it go? <laughs> I lost. All right, Manol, let's get up there and plinko. We're done with the star signs. Look at you know Patrick's on his phone. He's for sure going in to look deeper at this. This eight. is interesting. Eight. 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 Hit an eight. Maybe on another episode we'll find out who your best match is. That's kind of interesting. You take your star sign, you find out who your best uh, match for is. For me, it would be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know Manolis. <laughs> He'll take on anyone. Take it on. All right, here we go, Manolis. Uh, all right, have you been to the movies in the last year? Uh, yes. Anytime. Yes. Okay, I want you to give out your Oscar for best movie in the last year. I know you haven't seen very many. Uh, what, what, I did. Is see, there anything you've seen in the last year at the theaters I that you go, that's oh, that's got to win? Okay, I saw with my nephews the Jonah Hill movie about the <laughs> about the skateboarding. Oh yeah, uh, I was mid nineties. Mid nineties. I didn't I see seen that, it, but it looks awesome. It was amazing. Was it amazing? It was amazing. I think the ending could have been a little. It didn't tie it up as good as I would like it to, but I don't know. I think it was like. It was good. Like okay. you, they, people compared it to Kids from like back in the day. That movie called Kids. Yeah, yeah. it was a good movie. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was it would be ten times. I thought it was ten times better than that. It was uh, good. It was very well done. Would that have been the only movie you saw in the last year? Yes, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it was also the only movie I saw in the last year. <laughs> well, that makes makes Oscar picking easy for you. Uh, you never saw. You didn't see Black Panther. You look uh, like a superhero kind of. You oh, I did. You know what? I did see that. Oh, it's up for it's up for best picture. No, really? the nineties one's better. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Well, it, it's not up for best picture, but that's okay. Patrick, what about you? You go to the movies much? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. I honestly, I can't think of one. I can't think of a movie I've, you've the been last to. One I've been to now. <laughs> I take my daughter to kids movies. Okay. Any kids movies that you you like? Uh, sometimes they get uh, nominated for stuff. Yeah. No, nothing. You I can't even know. remember I what kids think. movie. I don't know. <laughs> You know what? You're going to have to go see. 
is uh, is the the Lion King, the real life Lion oh, King they're doing? That oh sure, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be that's killer. Real, awesome. real life everything they've done. The they are. They, are. they did a new Mary Poppins. They got dumb, dumb Dumbo. Dumbo. Yeah, I right? saw that on the Super Bowl last night. Yeah, <laughs> a real life Dumbo yeah. movie, which yeah. will be awesome. The and Aladdin. who's the uh, car- the uh, director of that? Is uh, oh, it's the guy who John Favreau. No, uh, no, <laughs> who is? Oh, oh, damn, man, I hate when I forget. Martin Scorsese. No, it's the guy. He's a bit of a freaky guy. He did the Willy Wonka. Tim Burton. Tim oh, Burton. Tim Burton. Oh, yeah. He's so doing cool. Dumbo. Yeah. yeah. That'd and, be uh, awesome. Danny DeVito's Johnny Depp's uh, going to be in it. The uh, ring. What is it? The, the ringmaster? The ringmaster, ring yeah. Yep. Ring leader. Ring leader. The ringleader. Ring leader. The ringleader of the ring Dumbo master. gang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? Uh, Steven, do you go to the movies? No, not really. Never. Not a lot. Not okay. a lot. You know what? That's the problem with stand-up comics. You guys don't make enough money to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, other, the other day, Patrick gave me some levity tickets, and I just stood outside of the movie, the- stood outside of the movie theater while people were coming out. And I'm like, oh, come, come here. Oh, there you go. That's the closest you got to a movie theater. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, anything you've seen in the, that you can think of? Anything that comes to mind? I was we we've done the previous topic. What's your best the best movie you've ever seen? Oh. I was hoping to bring it into sort of more recent times, but oh, <laughs> I saw I saw that, that new one with Brian Cranston and um, oh 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 Kevin Hart. Yes. And it was actually good. It was yes, the yeah. upside or the upside. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It looked like it was very funny. <laughs> I saw people were getting mad that they didn't get an actual paraplegic to play. Oh yes, <laughs> that's a bit ridiculous. That, <laughs> that is well, Brian Cranston was is such a good actor. Yeah, no, he did right? a great job. Uh, he or, actually hurt himself purposely to be able to do that. <laughs> That's how much he was amazing character into the actor. Part. For guys who work, and I know, yeah, Manolis in particular. But Patrick, you've done some, some, you know, some work on film, right? And and doubles and what background guys work? in the background <laughs> background <laughs> yeah. work. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so, but you guys don't go to the movies. Well, see, yeah, see, we shouldn't have been allowed to. We were background people on. Uh, uh, a show where there was a hockey scene, and, <laughs> and we don't actually go to hockey games, so we shouldn't have been allowed to do that either. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right, just like Brian very Cranston, very right? authentic, yeah. Yeah, we need authentic hockey fans, damn it. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Patrick, get up there and Plinko for us. We're uh, playing Friday at 420, as we do every Friday at 420, uh, coincidentally. Uh, and uh, Stephen Gerardad is our special guest uh, in the studio now with Manolis and Patrick and myself. And We have number seven, topic number seven. I've got my envelopes out of order, so hang on a second. All right, here we go. Topic number seven. Let's see if we can't get something going here. Uh, Patrick Capolino, this is your topic. What worries you most when you're in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing anymore. <laughs> um, what worries? What kind of worries? Do you, let's say, let's just say hypothetically, yeah. uh, you're in a relationship. You're, you're, and by a relationship, I mean just someone you've been with for a while. Yeah. Things are going well. Yeah. Uh, you're enjoying each other's company. Mm-hmm. What kind of things would you worry about? That okay. she's going to discover something about <laughs> you? That uh, <laughs> you're going to grow tired of her? What, what? Murder be my sleep is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you in a relationship? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of things worry you? Well, I don't know. It's more so afterwards. Like I like to to the point of my uh, my uh, Scorpio sign. Uh, I'm the kind of person where if I break up with someone, I don't want anyone else to have them. So oh, I'd, the jealousy. I'd prefer they <laughs> they don't exist anymore <laughs> after. But yeah, other than what, that, what uh, what do you wor- would you worry more about them? Uh, discovering something about you, or would you worry more that you're going to start to um, grow like tired s- of this person? S- something like what? Well, I don't know. I just like, you know, it's like if I don't keep up appearances, she's oh, going to find no. out my my feet stink. No, I think that's. Oh, my feet used to stink. I know. <laughs> really I, well, I remember. Yeah. I remember um, your issue. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm at no. the point where it's like, yeah, if, if they don't like something about me, then that's okay. It's you're you're good. Yeah. Water off a duck's back. Yeah. Manolis. Uh, I and I know it's, it's <laughs> a bit of a can of worms here. What Not a lot of relationships to speak of, but when you're in a relationship, what do you worry most about? Um, when they're going to figure me out? Yeah, is that okay? That's the kind of thing we were looking for. <laughs> are they going to um, find out I'm not really this lovable? Yeah, when they realize, like, <laughs> well, once they realize there's no future, that's when it usually goes 
<laughs> downhill. <laughs> like this guy's not going to be able to take care of me. I think women, I, I want to want to know, like, oh, this guy's going to be able. I'll, He's I'll, at least going to be a contributor. They don't even need to be taken care of anymore, can, but they want to know that you're going to be a you equal partner. But right. I be able to, oh, financially. You want you want to get a house? I don't think I'm it, not the guy. It's not, <laughs> it's not the prospect. I, ha, I don't have RSPs. Not, RSPs, no, or our RSPs. Oh, is it, oh that I said it wrong. Yeah, there's, yeah. Two, there's two R's on it. I can figure out. I know what to do. Like if like this. The sex is getting boring. I know how to spice it up, but oh, that's oh. about it. You know? It's really simple. You just put some porn on in the background. <laughs> that's it. Oh, yeah. That just it, it works. takes it, works. it to another it level, man. Or just buy wigs. I hate wearing them, but it works. <laughs> Invite um, another comment. Uh, um, yes. Uh, Manolis, uh, so let's say you're in a relationship. Have, have you ever been in a relationship long enough that you got to the point where you stopped putting on a uh, a show for the person. You know what I mean? Like you started just really truly being who you are in the relationship. Yes. I think, I think like <laughs> well, we all start putting on, right. You start with a putting on a show and then eventually it's like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to unmask myself here. My, uh, th- that part of me that I think that you're talking about is I will maybe complain about the things that I n- normally don't, they right, that know you normally that. let wash over. Well, like things like, like things that are like, Oh, this is, this is a problem. This is but not with them, but just in my life and uh, uh, just venting, I guess. Right. And, and uh, I've realized women don't want to hear your problems. <laughs> and just, no, you know, that's I just, it. I, I just I keep bottle them to, keep I bo- them to yourself. Yeah, I bottle everything up and I go to the gym. That's it. That's, that's how it. I do it. That's it. And take a sauna. I fight. I fight raccoons whenever I can. <laughs> yeah, punch them out. <laughs> Steven Girodat, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of uh, relationship you have with relationships, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, what uh, what worries you when you start uh, going steady with a gal? Uh, when I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> you're going <laughs> to yeah. You're going to step in it, eh? Oh yeah, it's always bad. It always ends badly. <laughs> Is it always you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what uh, kind of trouble do you get into? Oh uh, well, like uh, I so I'm sober now, but I used to drink a lot. Okay. So that was always an issue. Okay. I get really jealous and stuff. <laughs> like Manolis, when Pat and Manolis came to Victoria to do uh, their Steel Town Dege- Degenerates tour, I was living with this girl. And wh- what did I say to you, Manolis? For- <laughs> like, don't have sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. This is my girlfriend. Don't, don't have, have sex, sex with her. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm like, I'm nice. the That's one. That's awesome. Guy, believe it or not, I'm the only guy you don't have to worry about. Yeah. yeah. And then I think she tried to have sex with him. <laughs> yeah, she tried to have sex, kind of. But yeah. She wow. Per- she came into my room when I was trying to go to sleep, and then I just could tell that something was. I just could tell. You just guys, you know, guys, Raiders, like, oh, I know what's going something's, on here. Yeah, you could feel it. There's something's and, going on. And me being a good friend, I said, oh yeah, just out, and I just kind of just played dumb and got her out of the room. Right. So, oh, good for you. Good friend. See that again? That goes back to his I sign. So <laughs> <laughs> I would. Just I would I be surprised. Her, yes. Uh, uh, since we're on the topic. Uh, mm. Victoria, what was that like living in Victoria? Oh, it was beautiful. You don't meet a lot of people who, who like a lot of people go to Vancouver and stuff, but you mm-hmm. don't meet a lot of people who go to Victoria. And one people, one thing people maybe don't realize, but I mean, it's just it's beautiful weather. Oh, there. it's amazing. It's it's my favorite place. Like I I was only supposed to be there for a week, and I ended up living like living. There. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's That's so, a cool spot. Like the weather is, like, it never snows. No, it's just kind of like how it is today is like a winter day. That's the worst. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For those who don't know, today uh, and when we're uh, taping this, it is a balmy uh, 12 degrees outside, and we are loving every minute of it. Uh, all right, uh, Stephen, back up to the Plinko board with you, my friend. Uh, drop a puck before uh, Manolis has sex with your girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, see if we can't keep this show moving. We got, three again. we got three again. What's the nearest number to that three there? Ten. Number 10. All right. The Plinko board isn't exactly uh, set up perfectly for this, so we kind of make do as we go. Uh, ooh, interesting. Interesting topic for young Steven Girodat. Uh, tell me something your parents did wrong <laughs> that you would correct when you have a child. Uh, don't have seven kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So you're one of seven. Yeah, I'm the fifth. The f- <laughs> you got a you got a number at the yeah, door. Did you did you five. come in number five? Number five serving number five. Yeah, it's too that, many. That's a that's a big lot to, By to the grow time up you with. get to five. You just stop caring. Yeah, <laughs> do they? Yeah, and then you get to six and seven. You start caring again. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was just number five. We didn't care about. Yeah. 
Uh, what, uh, what, what, how, a, a big gap in ages, or uh, you guys are all pretty close together, sort of was, bing, bang, bong? So there's like an older four. Oh, there's okay. Like, there's like two, two years between each of them, and then there's a kind of a gap, and then there's like a young. It was the gap when they stopped having sex. Yeah. And, and then, then it started up again. <laughs> and then they found out about later. you wear the wigs <laughs> and put <laughs> yeah. some porn on in yeah, the background. Put porn on the background. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly we're having babies again. Yeah. Uh, and then they had some more. Yeah, uh, it must be nice. Uh, it is cool. Know, no, I love having that many siblings. But. So many siblings because you can fight with a couple of them, but you still got a couple others that you can hang with, right? Yeah, so exactly. I mean, it's really nice. You can sort of bounce yeah, it around. We all, we all get along very well. When you only have one sibling, you don't have a lot of choices. And it's good for a sense of humor too. Yeah, like I bet. Being eh? able to put up with people like jabbing at you, right? Does like, it's kind of like like hanging out with comics? You're always like. You know, needling each yeah, other, exactly. yeah, exactly, and that's like what it is growing up with that many siblings. Does uh, does growing up in a big family like that does that play into your act? Do you have so? Is there some things that that come out in your act, or you just um, uh, you haven't really explored really. that I, yet? I used to do that a little bit. Okay, but not much. Anyways. Talked a little bit because it it is unusual. You're always in uh, you know in comedy. I mean, you're looking for something that the audience can relate to, and it would be hard to find audience members who can relate to growing up with six siblings. Yeah, I mean, unless you're playing an Amish town, yeah, <laughs> there's just not going to be a lot of uh, a lot of relationship there, right? Yeah, and exactly. most of us don't know what that's like. Uh, Manolis, uh, tell me something your parents did wrong that you would not do when you raised a child. Uh, they stayed together. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I think in retrospect, I, <laughs> you really think? Oh, I think they should. I thought. I think my parents should have got a divorce at least twenty years ago, maybe. Really? Maybe Thirty. They yeah. stayed together for the kids, and it was no, just no. no they they, they, they just, stayed together because for the, they it's who they were. No, it's the Greek community. Yeah, so the okay. Greeks they don't like to be judged by other Greeks, right? So it's like it's, they stay together so no one could talk about them getting divorced. Yes. So, but so, so they, they toughed it out. They toughed it out, and they they but they I, I I even my parents are old old now, and they still argue. Like <laughs> like nothing. Yeah, I, I and I like I know no Greek words, right? I don't know. I guess I can't speak Greek. I can understand a bunch of stuff, but the words I know that because of my parents, I know words like asame, asame, asame. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's Leave. what you learn. Yeah, skasi. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, them they did they, they when they're t- they're fighting. Figure, figure, figure. Leave, leave. Like, just, 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 like, just get away from me. Get, get away like, from just me. Just little words like that. They yell at each other every day. Oh my goodness. Well, that's interesting. I could argue with any Greek or get them to get away from me. Anyway. So, you, <laughs> so when you have, uh, when you're finally raising your family and you finally uh, convinced somebody uh, that your prospects are okay for a future, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks dumbfounded. You would, <laughs> Oh. You would really want a peaceful household. I, oh yeah, I can't handle fighting. My, it's actually it's a problem for me. It was like I, they, all my parents taught me is really for relationships. I, I give up. Like if I if as soon as it seems like it's going to be an there's going to be a lot of headbutting, head, yep. headbutting, yep. and we're discarding. I'm like I'm out. That's good. Yeah, well, it's not, this it's, is <laughs> no, but I don't work on the relationship at that. There might be a, they, there could have been a. Maybe well, there could have been a res- you know what, but but maybe uh, not, right? I mean, you sit not. there and you. The thing is, is that you know what you're looking for. You yeah. know what you I, don't want in I your life. Yeah. So I, it's not really it, argument. People don't understand like when you argue with someone, you're not really supposed to be like winning the argument. You're supposed to have uh, come to the, realize that they both agree on something. You both make you your win, points, and then you have to compromise. If you win, if you have a girlfriend and you win that argument, all you have is a girlfriend that hates you now for winning <laughs> yeah, an argument. Yeah. You, and vice versa, though. Like, it's the yes, same thing. Yes. You, have to, you have to, like, work together on solving the situation. Man. So deep. This is uh, well, counseling, right? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what this is all about, really, and, Steve. And we've dragged you in here. It's yeah. a bit of an intervention no, okay. now. Who said that? The guy with the Brazzers <laughs> hoodie on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all about compromise, man. You want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it. It's all this advice always comes from the single guy with the, <laughs> with the browser browser shirt. Shirt. <laughs> Yeah. Manola's like, yeah, we had an argument about what position to do in it. Uh, all right. So, uh, Patrick, uh, something your parents, and we're not throwing them under the bus, something your parents did wrong that you would you would want to change now that you're raising a child? Uh, they believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> like they, I'm serious. Like too much. They always encouraged me to chase whatever I wanted. Okay. And, you think uh, that was wrong? the worst thing that's ever happened. Really? <laughs> no. No. I mean, like, it's nice. Yeah, but, um, you know, but it doesn't it force made you to adult face life a little more difficult. Because it doesn't force you to face reality, right? I mean, sometimes you got like, uh, well, no, in some ways you face it a little harder. I think. Oh, uh, eventually, and I think it's yeah. 
you end up in a uh, when you're not being coddled sooner. by them. Suddenly they're gone. You're out on your own, and suddenly there's no. Yeah, and now you're facing reality. Yeah. No, I mean I'm kind of joking. I mean obviously it's nice that they <laughs> they support whatever I'm doing, but uh, you know I don't know. I had a uh, uh, one of my daughters, and she was I don't know seven or eight years old or whatever, and she was she wanted to go in a talent show at the school, and she wanted to sing a Britney Spears song. And so I had a very serious conversation with her, and I said, "Honey, you can't sing." So, I, like the like, it would have been horrible for me to let her get up there in front of people. She would have, you know, they would have been, they would have booed her off the stage. And then she throws back at me, you know, Dad. But you always say I could be whoever I want. I can do whatever I want. Mm. I go, that's a lie, honey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you no, know, it's true. You can't. You got to tell kids at some point. You can't be or do whatever you. You're not all going to be astronauts. All right. You're not all going to be president or whatever. Uh, you can't all be singers. <laughs> if you can't sing, and you used to see those people on American Idol, they would go and try right, and go, who told them they could be they could sing? And it's like, they're, you know what? Their parents did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> yeah. great, honey. You're great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should go on TV and try that. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I, I think I understand more than you, <laughs> you believe, Patrick. Uh, whose turn is it to uh, drop a puck? Oh, Manoli. Manoli! Here we go. Learning so much about everybody today. Number two. Manola Scott, number two. Here we go. Friday at 420. Stephen Girodad, our special guest. Uh, and uh, Manola Santanos, uh, Patrick Capolino. Uh, Mike Neighbors here with the topic du jour. Uh, Manolas. Um, first of all, it's a two-part question. All right. Uh, you all right? You want, yeah. you want both parts or do you want to just take one part at a time? Whatever. I don't want to overwhelm you. Okay. <laughs> I like, I like two things at a time. First of all, I'd like to know how do you sleep, and and by how do how do you sleep? I I mean, uh, I, I, do you sleep well? Do you not sleep well? Are you a tosser and turner? Are you a gone forever? And then the second part of the question is, what uh, do you think about to go to sleep? Uh, to th- okay, so I um, I can't. I'm not good at sleeping. Okay, so you 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 wake easily, or well, it just takes me it just takes me a while to get to sleep. Okay. All right. Yep. So I, uh, but once I get to sleep, like it's hard. It's once I'm in that zone, I can, I could even, like, uh, someone could just call me and it's an emergency and I could deal with it. And then I could hang up the phone, and go right back to bed. Okay. So, so once like, you've started sleeping, sleeping, it's, you're good. In the morning, it's really hard for me to, like, I, in the morning, I feel like I'm coming out of the matrix. Like it's really, <laughs> right, right. I, I always feel like, <gasps> I always like every day I feel like, what day is it today? Like I, I'm bad. So then do you struggle to get to sleep and you say it takes a while to get to sleep? Is it because your mind's racing? Cause you got too many things you're thinking about yeah. or is that, is that what, what is it that you think about when you, you're trying to get to sleep at night? Oh, what's the point of life? What am I, <laughs> why are we doing this? Where's this all going? <laughs> well, you start with that. Oh, that's going to be a that's a big topic to chew on when right. you want to doze off. One of the few things I do, I used to do, and I kind of like it's I kind of stopped that, but I used to drink a, like a lot of rye and like rye and cokes or whatever. Right. So that really would stop me thinking, and I could fall. I would just oh, drink yeah. and pass out. <laughs> but then I had that moment. That, you know, self-medicated. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have a moment of clarity, like I think I'm an alcoholic, you know, and I have to. <laughs> Make, Steven's like nodding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would. I prefer if I could. I would just do that every day. But you can't. You know no. what I mean. And uh, but what I really do, my my trick to help me get to sleep, we uh, relates to my hoodie. Okay. <laughs> All right. I find like once once I get that out of me, the poison. I'm like right. <laughs> the poison. I, I feel yes. really nappy. You know what? And that is fantastic. And then you know what the meaning of life is. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's to sleep. I recommend this to everyone. <laughs> Pat- by the way, Patrick Capolino. Uh, first of all, how do you sleep? Are you a good sleeper, bad sleeper? Uh, and then and then what do you do to uh, what do you think about to fall asleep at night? I'm a good sleeper now. Okay. I didn't before, uh, but honestly, the biggest thing I do now is I. Uh, well, I wake up early for one. That force, like whether I'm tired or not, I used to not be a morning person at all. Right, right. But now I force myself to get up early because then I'm tired at night. But the biggest thing is honestly just not being on my phone in bed. Okay, they I tell you you shouldn't up. be. Yeah, I'd be on my phone. I'd try to go to bed at like eleven, and then before I know it, it's four in the it's, morning. And you've been on your phone, just all the all yeah, going through apps and social media and all that stuff, yeah. and it just keeps it's, your mind racing, right? Yeah. So you put the phone down. I put the phone down now. Yeah, and, just, and then right. and then you follow them. Yeah. Well, because I or, like, and when I try to put my daughter to sleep too, like I. I Sometimes she won't sleep until, like, I can't leave the bed until she's asleep. Right. So I'll end up falling asleep either before her or just yes. with her because I'm doing what she's doing. I'm just trying to get her to close her eyes and sleep. Yes. And I'm like, oh, that actually works. 
for me too. Yeah, absolutely. So. The number of times that I felt I fell asleep reading. I, yeah. I'd be in the middle of reading my daughter's a bedtime story, and I would just <laughs> doze off, and they'd be shaking me. Daddy, this book's not done. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, Stephen, what yeah. do you, uh, are you a good sleeper, a uh, bad sleeper, and, and what do you do, uh, what do you think about to fall asleep at night? Uh, I'm a good sleeper. Uh, yeah. I, I do what Manolis does. Okay. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. All right. Yeah, since I was a kid. I, I, I help him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a team effort. But what kind of stuff do you do you, do you think about? You got, and here's you know, uh, let like me a, let me share with you why I came up with this question, okay? Yeah. Because I thought of this because don't you guys I would have thought one of you would have answered and maybe Stephen I, think I write jokes sometimes. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Don't you see yourself on stage and start working through a bit and start working, uh, you that's know, that's how you stay awake. Really? Yeah, that does that'll keep, keep you me up. up. That'll, oh, keep, that'll really? keep you up. Oh yeah. no, I dr- I would drift right but off, so, man. Sometimes I'm like, this is good, and I want to <laughs> keep it thing? going, or else I'll forget it. Picturing you yourself on stage makes you fall asleep. That's right. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, God, man. I'd be like working through a bit. I'd be like, going, okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'm like, be thinking what it would look like, what it would, you know, and I, and it's all in the details because the more details you think about, the the f- more bored you get, honestly, with the whole thing. Yeah, uh, and you fall asleep. So oh. I'm I'm not necessarily doing the jokes. I'm seeing what the curtains are like, what the smell of the room is, what the feel of the room is, and that kind of thing. And then uh, yeah, anyway. if you figure out a joke, you're gonna want to wake up and write it down. Yeah, though. I know. I know. Yeah. They, lots of jokes have been lost to me falling asleep. Yeah. Or anything. If I get excited about anything, like even so, with the club now, like I just I stay up. I, I have to force you're, myself you're, to You're just, thinking all the creative yeah, things, right? Things that I should That's be the doing. problem. You guys are all creative guys. And creative. I think a lot of creative people have, have problems sh- shutting it down. Yeah. So you guys actually try to stay away from creative stuff. Yeah. Well, I try to get it all out of the way. And I started writing stuff down, too. If I just get it out of my head yep. and then make a plan to do it in the morning. Then Excellent. Yeah. Uh, but I think maybe uh, the the phone is a big one, huge one. Um, yeah. And the other thing, Patrick, uh, that you said was you, <laughs> getting up early, yeah. right? I mean, you can't sleep till noon yeah, and expect yourself to be, be able to go to bed at eleven o'clock at night. It's like, yeah, no, then you're getting too much sleep. When I lived in Victoria, Pat used to uh, FaceTime me and my ex girlfriend, not realizing the uh, the time difference. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he was just get into late. that. Those were, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I, I, one other thing I've been doing for about two months now, yep. I, as soon as I wake up, I go right to the shower and take a cold shower for three minutes. Yeah, you said that really works for waking you up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's, That's it's, supposed to be good for your immunity, too. It's good well, for it's a like lot of things. It's like cryogenic, just like cryogenics yeah. or whatever. No, it's, it's not cry, cryo sauna, they call it. Cryogenics I, is when they put you to sleep by freezing like, you yeah, right. for good. I was inspired by Wim Hof, like that guy that the, the ice man, they call him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think so. He's crazy, right? And I, I saw him on Rogan and stuff like that, but I was just interested in that. I thought, And then I saw, like, it could help with depression. I don't think I'm actual, like, a depressed person, but I think we're all fighting that depression a bit. And you're very sensitive, right? Yeah. So I mean, I just, those sensitivities. So I heard can, it helps. Such a cancer. Such just, a cancer. So he's, you know, I used to take a warm shower and then cold. Now I just turn it to cold and I jump in. It's oh. it's psychotic, dude. Oh. In the middle of winter <laughs> even? Yeah, I did it today. I do oh. it. I do it. I go... I do. They say it climatizes you too. Like you're less sensitive. You're warmer when you get out. You're sensitive. You're less sensitive to cold. You go like this. Like your your brain goes, no man, don't do it, right? And I go, (laughs) oh yeah. I have like these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're not doing it. Oh yeah, brain. Yeah. Well, that guess what? We're doing it now. (laughs) To show you, brain. You just like you're like (sighs) inside. You're like, "Ah!" like I swear to God, it's and it here's the best part of it. It doesn't get easier. No, <laughs> no, yeah, that's the best part. Yeah, it's like every day it's psychotic. Every day it's like it's like it's fighting Why twenty dudes at the same time. Oh man! Like I almost want. I'd like. Do you want to take a cold shower or fight ten guys? And I'm like, I, I'm like, you know what? I'll yeah, fight the ten, ten guys. guys. <laughs> are they strong? Are they big guys? How yeah. big are they? Yeah. Are they trained fighters? Uh, I the, the thing is, is that I go. You no, know, I have a hot shower, and then. Um, it gets to a point in the fall and then through most of the winter where I reach out and grab the towel and bring it in the shower with me yeah. to towel off because yeah. it's so much colder outside the shower. Yeah. I can't imagine getting in a cold shower. Oh, it's Although when you step out of it, it must be nice. Yeah. yeah I, it's like, oh, yeah, right? Oh, it's like the first 10 minutes you feel so happy because you're just not in a cold shower anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you're so happy, dude. But you're awake. You know how it takes you like like I don't really wake up till two or three in the afternoon. I'm up. You're after that. It's oh, over. It's over, dude. We, we are up, man. All right, we've got time for one more uh, plinko topic. Uh, who wants to throw the puck into the uh, to, into the time machine there? And that's it's Patrick's Hopalino's turn. Let's see turn. where we show up here. We burned through a bunch of them. So 
Number six. All right, we haven't had number six. Here we go. Our final Plinko topic for this Friday at 420 with uh, Stephen Girodat, uh, Manolo Santanos, and uh, Patrick Capolino. So, um, aside from a smell that Manolis can produce, <laughs> name me a smell that makes you gag. Uh, well, now, uh, smart food. You know the, the, oh. the white cheddar popcorn thing? Oh, really? Yeah, because when wow. I was in high school. That's an unusual one. Yeah, it's, oh, I used to like eating it, but, but uh, when I was in high school, we were at someone's house throwing a house party, and then... Um, our our friend was driving some of us home, and this girl was in the back seat with me, and she had been eating smart food like all night, but she yeah. was really drunk too, and she uh, she threw up smart food oh, all over the car, and it's dude. and it smells exactly the same <laughs> <laughs> coming out as it does. So like now, just the oh, smell. No. Yeah, it wasn't like a pukey oh. smart food. It just I realized it's the same, the, it's the oh. same smell. So now you know, every time I smell smart food, that's all I think about. It's funny because I have a smart food uh, uh, repulsion as well. Uh, <laughs> the white cheddar one. No, and it was uh, we were at the beach and we had a, a bag of smart food. And everybody was eating blah 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 yeah. blah blah. And then uh, I guess it got near the end and somebody decided to put a bunch of cigarette butts oh. in it. They were like cleaning up the beach, right? So they pick up all these cigarette butts and throw them in the smart food. I don't know this. Oh. Now I reach in and I take a mouthful of cigarette butts in smart food <laughs> and I'm chewing. And it's like, like for a brief second, I'm like, oh, something tastes bad. And then it's like, Puh. and I'm like, well, there's cigarette butts in my smart food. Um, and I haven't been able to eat smart food since because yeah. all I can taste of that, the cigarette, cigarette butt ash or whatever, whenever I eat it. So uh, that's weird that we both have a repulsion <laughs> of smart food. Uh, Steven Gerald, Dad, give me a, a smell that repulses you, something that makes you gag. Oh, the smell of tequila. Even, really? Yeah, even when I was a raging alcoholic. Even if, yeah. You still even couldn't do it yeah. then? Yeah, you know, like, if I was talking to a girl who like up close who had been drinking right. tequila that night. It just really, eh? That's a very powerful Thank smell, you. isn't it? Yeah, it's gross. Was it because of a previous experience with no. tequila at some point? Or no. just right from the get-go you were Always. Uh, okay. I mean, I'd drink it. I just wouldn't smell it. you just like, yeah, toss it back. and yeah. uh, uh, smell. Oh. Okay, smell of tequila. That's a good one. Uh, Patrick's feet. No. <laughs> <laughs> When he used that bad odor on his feet, like it was like I, if I would we determine, just so we're clear, and I, I'll let you finish. But so we're clear, we determined why, right? Because you just weren't changing your socks. You weren't, yeah, you weren't <laughs> changing bad, your it's socks. It's not that his feet just <laughs> naturally smelled bad. He wasn't bathing or changing his socks. <laughs> right, there was none of that going on. <laughs> Off when I did bathe, but then I'd put the put old them back, on. Ones back on, <laughs> sweat them up again. Yeah, well, sure, I cleaned my feet. They should be fine in these old socks. He was on tour with a bunch of comics, and they bought him a brand new pair, like a package of socks. Yeah, we were at the laundromat. They're like, no, no, you're not getting that out. They threw all my socks in the garbage and bought me new ones. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh, that's a good one. But uh, they're like, when I, when I it, smell them, if when they're bad, like he'll be sitting in in the passenger seat in the car and. And yeah, it comes up from the floor. The floor and, I, and I'm driving. I go. I'm like, whoa! One time I had to put him in my trunk. Oh. It was so bad. <laughs> is there just quickly? Is there another smell that other people might be more familiar with that just makes you <laughs> what, that uh, that it smells like? That, it, no, no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm also. I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of uh, vomit smell. Obviously, wow, well, sure. But, but I, like the times where I have to make myself vomit, right? I will not flush the toilet, so the smell of the vomit will yeah. help me finish vomiting. Oh, good yeah, rebound, trick! Good yeah, trick, rebound, right? So. That's actually a good trick. I'd never heard that before. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Well, excellent. Learn something new on sure. Friday at four twenty. There you go. All right. Oh. If if Patrick's feet aren't available, <laughs> leave the vomit in the sink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> everybody, uh, we've run out of time. Look at that! Look how fast that went. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you guys are awesome, uh, Stephen Gerodat. How do we? Uh, we of course want to come out and see you perform when you uh, when you're playing. How can I follow you on the uh, social medias, my friend? Uh, on Instagram, it's at Steve Gerodat. It's S T E V E G I R O D A T. And on Facebook, it's Stephen Gerodat, and that's with a P H. Stephen with a P H Gerodat. Follow him on uh, social media. Manola Santanos. How am I going to follow you? Um, Manola Santanos on all social media, but including I Tinder. Uh, including Tinder. Okay, and Bumble? Bumble. I got Bumble, okay, Tinder. Excellent. You got them all going? There's a yeah. new one called Hinge. Really I heard good. about Hinge. I'm going to look yeah. into Hinge? that. Hinge? He's not on Hinge yet, so ladies, please Let's hold please off on the Hinge. <laughs> Delete it now because I'm coming. <laughs> 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 I, uh, 
I'll be at Levity Comedy Club every Wednesday working on new jokes, too. Wednesday nights, uh, Levity Comedy Club. And, of course, that's where you'll also find my friend Patrick Coppolino at Levity Comedy yeah. Club. Don't forget, there's not only uh, a great night Wednesday nights where we uh, get the uh, amateur comics coming out and some of the pros come out and work on material, uh, but also shows. Thursdays, Fridays, two shows on Saturdays. Yep. Levity Comedy Club. Where do we go to get tickets? Uh, LevityComedyClub.com or .ca, which I bought since you said. Oh, because <laughs> I kept saying you .ca. Said .ca. <laughs> so now both. <laughs> Go to the same website. LevityComedyClub.com <laughs> or .ca. And uh, and don't forget uh, to check out Levity Comedy Club, which is in the heart of the Hammer, King Street, right above the Anchor Bar. You can find Levity Comedy Club. Monday night's trivia night. Yep. The lounge is open every afternoon. Yep. 4 awesome. p.m. Excellent. Close. And how do we follow you on social media, Patrick? Um, at Donnie Coy. At Donny Coy. That's it for this edition of Friday at 420. We want to thank our special guest, Stephen Gerodat, uh, Manolis, Patrick. Until we meet again in seven days' time, everybody have an awesome weekend.